Hey guys, it's Mel. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all of the books that I'm planning on reading for the Eurovision Athon that is being run by Helen Slater over on Twitter. So I will link her Twitter account in the description below. It sounds like it's going to be a really fun readathon. I'm not 100% sure how she's going to score it, but I know that she will have a scorecard. And basically the idea is that all of the country finalists from last year's Eurovision contest, if you, you read a book set in or... or I think I need to start again. <laughs> so I think the basic idea, as far as I've understood it, is that she has gone and put a printout or a screenshot of the um, finalist board from the Eurovision Song Contest from last year on her Twitter. And you can read a book that either has is set in that country or they spend some time in that country or the main character is from that country or I think going to that country, not 100% sure. Um, but anyway, so you pick any of the countries on that board and you read a book that is in some way related to that country. So I, you can choose to do just the one or 26 or whatever you might want to do. I've chosen a few, certainly not 26 because I don't think that's at all feasible, but I've chosen a few. So this readathon starts today on the 18th of April and it runs for a month. So it will finish up on the 16th of May, I think, uh, which means that it overlaps with Mental Healthathon, which is running throughout the entire month of May. So I am planning on going in both of those readathons, and I will put a TBR for Mental Healthathon a bit later. But I just wanted to mention that because one of the books that I have selected for Eurovisionathon overlaps with Mental Healthathon. So anyway, I'll probably put a little image somewhere of the of the finalist board from Eurovision from last year, so that you can see what I could have chosen from. Um, but I will start with the crossover for Mental Healthathon and Eurovisionathon, which is Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman. I have already read this book. It is a reread for me, but I loved it. It was one of my favourite books from last year, and I'm really keen to read it, reread it. Um, so it is one of the host choice for Mental Healthathon, um, and it also takes place in the UK which is one of the countries in the final in the finals for last year for Eurovision Song Contest so that totally works so that rec that will be my British um entry I feel like I'm not making that much sense but you get the idea uh so then I am probably not that surprisingly going to choose a book set in Australia so this is actually a book set in Tasmania which is where I live it is called Pig's Head and it's written by David Owen it is a mystery book um, that I don't really know very much about but I have been told by a good friend of mine that it's a great book and that I'll really enjoy it so I'm quite keen to read that one uh, so that goes for my Australian entry then I have chosen The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simmons which is my Russian entry um so this is actually a book that is one of my friend Michelle's favorite books so she's been talking to me about reading this book for a long time and I am finally going to get around to it it's quite a hefty one 637 pages long but I've got a month to read it so I'll definitely be able to do that. And then I have a middle grade book so this one is a lot thinner, it's 229 pages long so that will definitely give me a little bit of a break from this one. And that is called Just a Girl by Jackie French. So this is a historical fiction. It takes place in Israel when uh, I think, yes, in 71 AD during the Roman occupation of Israel. Uh, so it sounds really interesting and I think that I will really enjoy it. That is an area um, that I'm quite interested in, ancient history, so I'm looking forward to that one. So that was for Israel. The next books that I have chosen, I'm either going to re read one or the other because I've only picked up one of them, but it's either the Aeneid or the Iliad um, and both of these books are classic epics and 
I do like both of them. I've read both of them before, but I do also know that I don't think I can read more than <laughs> one epic classic per month. So it'll either be the Iliad or the Aeneid. I'm not sure which one, but uh, the, it, the Aeneid will represent Italy. The Iliad will represent Greece. So it just depends on which one I decide I prefer to pick up. And then I have downloaded in audiobook uh, The Mercies. I'm not quite sure who that's by. Let me just look. By Kieran Millwood Hargrave. And that one is... I don't really know much about it. I think it's speculative paranormal fiction, um, but it sounds really cool. I know that Lauren from Lauren and the Books really enjoyed it, so I'm excited to read it, and that will represent Norway. So, yeah, those are the books that I am planning on reading for the Eurovision of Dawn. Um, who knows? I might end up reading more. I'm doing a lot more reading at the moment because of isolation. But thinking six books is quite enough to put on a TBR, even if it is for a month. I'm not necessarily wanting to be entirely stuck to a TBR at the moment, as you saw in my big pile of books I might read during isolation video. So I'm a bit more mood ready at the moment. So we'll just see how we go. So anyway, these are the books that I'm going to read for Eurovision Athon. All right, guys, so that is that for this video. If you have any interest in going in the Eurovision a thon, then please hop over to Helen Slater's Twitter, which I've linked below, and have a look. Sounds like it's going to be a really fun readathon, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I really hope that uh, people from BookTube will join us because. Yeah, I think it would be really great. If you're planning on participating, please do comment below and let me know what you're going to read or if you've made a TBR video or a blog or something, please put that below so I can have a look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like I've been saying in all of my videos, my Twitter account is linked below. So if you want to come and have a chat, then please go and do that. And I also have another channel which is a parenting advice and ideas channel and I've been focusing a lot on homeschooling for people who maybe aren't necessarily that used to homeschooling who are trying to work from home as well so please hop over there if you are a parent and you're trying to work from home and school from home and hopefully I'll be able to help you out. All right guys that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said if you did please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.